to do linear regression analysis using Tableau itself. So linear regression, as you know, it's it's a type of uh, analysis using regression in which you understand how much a dependent variable or multiple uh, or or a dependent variable depends on multipend multiple independent variables. So here, let's do a uh, simple linear regression which involves date uh, as our uh, one of our continuous variables and uh, let's consider date as the independent variable and salaries paid in the USA as uh, the dependent variable let's see how much the salaries depended on the timeline that we have uh, also later we'll, we'll try to analyze more about uh, how this fluctuation actually happened. So I'm going to quickly put the date in the columns uh, column shelf and I'm going to put uh, paid wage per year in rows. So we have something like this but we don't need the sum. Sum is not the right measure. So we're going to see uh, the median paid wage something like this we have we have so many data points and now what we want to do is try to uh, make a linear regression analysis for this to see a, a line of perfect fit which may help you predict the future salaries also reducing the size of the dots the dots are just for so that we know for the linear regression what kind of model and how the model is you know how good the model is and what I'm gonna do is for the linear regression I'm gonna show trend line so here voila here is our uh, linear regression model and we see the equation of the model there too so it's a uh, negative dependency on year of case received and it's a big number and the residual is also huge so let's see how this model is actually performing when we say describe trend model we see how the model is performing and the most important you want to see is p-value so the p-value of a good model which predicts well should be lesser than 0 0.05 or 0 0.01 but we see the p-value here is is huge this means um, our model is not the best predictor basically it could also be because we have just input six um, uh, no eight data points that may be the reason but still our model is not really doing well but still uh, this gives a fair idea of how the salaries have been going but if we check just for uh, you know further analysis this is the median but let's see whether the min and the max of the salaries has also varied in the same way so I'm gonna drop these in the row shelf and what we're gonna see is for maximum and for minimum and if we want the confidence interval to be shown as well we can just do this show confidence bands say okay so we have the confidence interval as well but most of the times you don't like to see these so we can have it removed again and also so this means that the max salaries has been rising while the min has been on the decline and again we can see the equation of the linear regression as well also just for our curiosity since we have different job title subgroups as well uh, let's try to see how different types of jobs performed and we're gonna put this 
for all maybe we can do it this way we would drop all of these uh, subtitle groups into columns here so we have this and we could have something like for assistant professor for attorney business analyst so here we go this is our linear regression so always remember for continuous variables we can use linear regression thank you for watching